from Bruges to Baton Rouge, welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host Galadon and in today's episode let's discuss the Diamond Pass coming to Clash of Clans. Now those of you that are not familiar with Clash Royale may not have any idea about the concept or the existence of of a diamond pass, but another Supercell game that also had a gold or season pass for $4.99 just recently added a diamond tier pass and the concept does not seem out of the realm of possibility of something that could come to our beloved Clash of Clans. I wanted to talk about this and take a minute to discuss a little bit about the most recent Clash Royale update, and hopefully the lessons learned by the dev teams that work in the same building for Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, and several other Supercell games. Now, yes, the creator code can be used across all of those games, but let's not focus on that. Let's talk about, first of all, this most recent Clash Royale update. They titled it, well, let's just say I thought it had the worst title I've ever imagined, for an update, and that is an update for losers. Now, I'm already pretty frustrated by Clash Royale, probably because my skills are very low, and I admit that, but the game frustrates me, yet I still play it. I did buy the season pass for many years in Clash Royale, but recently stopped just because, I don't know. Now, th there has been a big creator pushback against the most recent update as well. Several well-known content creators for Clash Royale have spoken out on social media, and Reddit was absolutely ablaze with calculations showing what had happened to the season pass in Clash Royale. And this, my friends, is where the problem lies. I don't think that a diamond pass would necessarily be a mistake for Clash of Clans, but what Clash Royale did was they reduced the rewards in the gold pass and increased the price by a dollar at the same time. Now, this is just based upon the information that I've gleaned from some very, very detailed posts on Reddit that show the specific calculations, and you're welcome to go back and take a look at those images that I just put up, but it looks believable, it seems reasonable to me that, yes, the gold pass went up in price, they introduced a new diamond pass, and the value is just not there. Now, of course, yes, inflation is a real thing, and costs to do business and operate are going up globally, so that's kind of where the excuse came in when Clash Royale did post something. They said, hey, you know, life is expensive, and we had to raise the price of the pass. And I, I just, you know, when it comes to virtual items... That's what makes it harder, I think, for the average person to say, hey, that doesn't make any sense. You're not selling a physical product. But remember, there are things like employee salaries, rents, servers to maintain, and everything else is always going up in price. Not that I'm making excuses. I'm not. I do think that they could have gone about this a different way. And I'm hoping, I'm really, really hoping that Clash of Clans sees this learns from the mistakes, and if they do indeed add another tier to the gold pass, they do it in a very, very different way. Now, first things first, when you log on to Clash Royale and you end up on their shop page, you will find yourself absolutely inundated with monetization. And what I mean is, it's to me, it's ridiculous how far this has gone. The number of items that you can purchase within Clash Royale it's crazy, okay? They've got, not only, of course, you've got the season pass, but then you have the daily fortune. And then below that, you get all of these different special offers. So there's special offers where you can buy chests. There's special offers where you can buy skins. And I realize that a lot of these things exist also in Clash of Clans. But as you page down, it's pretty crazy. And there is the diamond pass, by the way. $11.99, the gold pass, $5.99, formerly $4.99, so brace yourselves, it, it's possible this could happen in Clash of Clans, I'm hoping not, uh, but we have to wait and see. And then I'll just scroll the rest of the way down and show you guys, there is something free you get every day, I always make sure I go pick that up, but beyond that, I'm done spending money in Clash Royale, even though uh, I have spent a great deal of money over there, and the most popular video on my channel, by the way, little known fact, the most popular 
most views of any video I've ever had on this channel is a Clash Royale tournament uh, from way back in 2016. So I will try to remember to put the link here if you want to go check it out. It's pretty hilarious because we were very, very awful at the game at the time. But okay, so yes, I have loved Royale for many years. I found it to be very, very frustrating as well. But my first love and the game that I will always call my favorite game is going to be Clash of Clans. I'm hoping upon hope that if and when a diamond pass is added to Clash of Clans that the developer team thinks about this and perhaps even heard the words that I'm about to say. And that is, I feel like the Clash team could successfully increase the monetization and therefore the revenue of Clash of Clans by introducing a diamond pass. But, and it's an absolutely huge but, they should do it without reducing the rewards for the gold pass and perhaps, and this was just a thought and maybe it's not possible, increasing the rewards slightly on both the free tier and the gold pass while at the same time bringing in an $11.99 a month diamond pass. Again, Clash of Clans has always been about pay to progress faster, right? It's not pay to win, but if you've got a little extra money each month, you can progress through the town halls more quickly. So, if there were to be a diamond pass, it would essentially just be the equivalent of buying gems every month, but it would be in a flashier package. And what I mean is you would get additional runes and books and maybe even a hammer in there or something really extraordinary for spending that extra money. Clash of Clans would likely see more revenue because there would be a massive value to that pass, yet you would not see the massive player pushback that Clash Royale has seen by nerfing or reducing the rewards in the existing passes. And I think that would be huge. Perhaps, and this, again, these are just off the cuff. I did not script this video, by the way, as you could probably tell. I was thinking, why not even offer a 5% builder discount or a slightly increased season bank on the free side? Then you've got that 10, 15, 20% discount on the gold pass and then at some point towards the end of the diamond pass there is maybe even a 25 or 22 percent discount just giving players a little bit more incentive to spend an extra six bucks a month i think that if it's done correctly yes okay now i also agree that no matter what happens there will be people that flip out and people that threaten to delete the game that just comes with the territory of any update but if Clash is trying to seek better monetization without drowning players in packages and deals and complicated offers and chests and no, just simply increase the option to spend a little bit more without reducing the existing benefits from the free and the gold pass. I don't know if that's plausible. I'm not an accountant and I'm not a game designer. I just play them and I make videos about them. But I'm really, again, hoping that the Clash of Clans team and Supercell has learned from the mistakes that were made in this most recent Clash Royale update for losers. And we see a better version of this if it does come to Clash in the future. Thank you, Yalafam, so much for your time. And please do leave your thoughts, feedback, and suggestions down in the comments. I promise to read them all. Now get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see every last one of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Galadon, Galadon, my idea is a gym box pass where every level is another gym box. That would be amazing.